it's the Senior Planet Exploration Center in Manhattan. It's the first technology-themed community center for older adults in the world. As far as we know, there's never been another site that is technology-based for older adults exclusively at one location. So right in the very upper left-hand side of the iPad, you'll have that Wi-Fi symbol there. And if for some reason it's not there, that means your iPad is not connected. When people hear about seniors 60 or above, the first thing that they're inclined to think about is, oh, you mean like people who live in nursing homes or stay at home or don't really go around? So this is something that's entirely different from that. And when I tell people about it, they're like, these are actual seniors who are taking the classes, not like high school seniors or college seniors, and they're surprised to see that. Before I came here, I never even touched any computer. I never even touched it and whatever, I never know. But since I take the first lesson, there were Google, Google Chrome, so I just knew a little bit, and then I like it. The demographic over 60 in general has been kind of told that they can't do certain things for whatever reason, and technology happens to be one of those things that they're kind of told they can't do, or it's off limits, and you know, I get out of coming here that people are happy and they're excited. Yes, I was a person who was electronic device phobic. In fact, one of the reasons I left my job was because they computerized everything and I, instead of being with the children in the schools, I was 24-7 behind the computer and I, I said, this, I don't like this. This is not what I want for myself. This is not what I signed up for. So I retired. I was old enough to retire. So before I came to Senior Planet, I did not have a very positive relationship with computers. The, the technology challenge for seniors is, is really one of, of adopting new innovative technologies on the late side of the curve. So they're uh, not early adopters, they're not really the middle adopters, they're the late adopter. But as those new technology innovations became more central to our lives, became things like email and Facebook and the internet just for things like health, health research or commerce, those late adoption decisions became more affecting and more consequential for older people. And so in many cases, when seniors don't go online, they become more socially isolated, or they have less access to health information, or they have more financial stress as a result of it. So what started out as kind of a quirk of older people's patterns with new technology has turned into a social problem that we really need to so solve as a society. And, and that's what really Oates has come out to try to do. Sometimes as a senior, being in a large city like New York, I sometimes feel isolated and I sometimes feel invisible when I walk down the street. I feel like, especially the young people, like I'm not there. And when I started coming here and connecting with the community and the family here, I felt part of something bigger than myself. So Senior Planet has given me a new family, a new community to be part of. We're not trying to basically say that when you age things don't change. We're saying that when you age things change and technology can be a way that you know you continue meaningfully interacting with the world, changing, growing just like you would when you're 10 years old. I didn't even know quite what they did. I just liked the energy behind it and the teachers, one of which is passing right there. She's wonderful. Um, I like the intergenerational feeling, dealing with people that are 18, 40, 50, 60, 70. Um, it makes me feel alive. I didn't believe I could become a digital entrepreneur, and it was the staff who kept saying to me, oh, Marin, you can do it. And I did it. And um, one of the things about the staff is most of the staff here are young people and what a wonderful thing for an older person like myself to be around uh, so many young people. Um, it's, uh, it's like a breath of fresh air. The other day we had a man um, who came in who was uh, legally blind. He could still see things 
near him, but he couldn't see basic things like the computer screen and the keyboard. And I was actually able to help him use the computer for the very first time in his life to actually touch the keyboard and look at the screen. Of course, we had to make the minor adjustments for him to get more comfortable with the computer. But at the end of the day, I was able to say I helped a blind man learn how to use the computer for the very first time in his life. People in the class will learn how to use Fitbits, which are fitness trackers that we loan out for the program and learn how to use that along with the dashboard on their computer. They can measure their heart rate, their, uh, our, 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 how many steps we take, how many miles we walk, how many calories we burn, what our sleeping patterns are, just, just from this one device. My main reason for being involved in the program is to relieve the physical pains that I was suffering. And surprisingly enough, it, it has in fact done just that. Um, I can come into a, a class and with the stretching movements and so forth and so on, I, uh, I, the pain goes away, quite literally. I found out that by being in this exercise program, I have now found myself strengthening my body, my muscles, my bones even. We have something called Feldenkrais, and that is where we sit on the hip on our bones and exercise that part of our body as well. And there's so much as a senior that I find out with this Fitbit and Oates has shown me that I can make myself much stronger. We're not really about technology. Even though it's the older adults technology service is the, is the nonprofit parent and Senior Planet has so much technology here, we're really about aging. We're passionate about older people and we're passionate about this opportunity that we have from the longevity revolution to redesign and redefine what it means to get old today. And so people come in here with a million plans and a million goals and a million ideas. They're starting businesses, they're reconnecting to old friends and building new relationships, they're falling in love, they're doing art, they're writing books. A guy wrote a play over here. Um, they're making a difference in the world. They're losing weight and exercising. And what we've done at Oats is every one of our programs has some kind of theme about aging. It's, it's either health or socialization or financial security, creativity, but it's something that people want to do or improve as we get older and the technology becomes a tool for getting there. So when you go to an Oats class, you'll hear some about the technology, but a lot of it is about people talking about how to apply it in their own lives and really make a difference for themselves. And when people have those transformations, that's what gets us excited. I don't really care so much that people learn how to use a mouse or a keyboard. I care a lot about what they do with it.